Question 16, um, we're told the following. So we've got, use the word from the box which best describes the probability of each happening. When you throw a coin, you will get a tail. So just think about it. When you throw a coin, there are two options. You either get a head or you get a tail. The probability of a tail is one out of a total of two options. So it's a half. So which one's a half? It's evens. When you throw an ordinary dice, you get a number less than seven. When you throw an ordinary dice, you either get a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, or a six. Now, what's the probability you get a number less than seven? Well, all of these are less than seven. So you've got six possibilities out of six. Six out of six is one. So the, possibility, uh, the probability is one. Which word describes a one, a certain event? Well, certain. Okay, Bill has some counters in the bag. Three are red, so let's just draw it. One, two, three are red. Seven are blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The rest are yellow. Bill takes a random uh, takes uh, takes at random a counter from the bag. The probability that he takes a yellow counter is two out of seven. So, um, how many yellow counters are in the bag there for, uh, before Bill takes a counter? So, he's got three reds, seven blue, the rest are yellow, so we don't know how many are yellow. The probability he takes a yellow is two out of seven. So, we know we've already got more than seven uh, balls in the bag. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so what we could do with this probability, the same probability of 2 out of 7, if we double the top and double the bottom, so we get 4 out of 14. So if we added 4 yellows, 1, 2, 3, 4, would we have 14 counters? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So therefore, um, how many yellow counters were in the bag before we started? Well, it was 4.